G'day everybody, it's Dave from Wing Chun Mind Force. Today I'm presenting to you the first of three videos um, of the workshop that Sifu Bo Bazaar and I did last week um, going through Sil Nim Dao minutely, uh, the way he teaches his students and those who've been watching my previous videos know that Sifu Bo started Wing Chun back in 1973. Started with Sifu Jim 1983, I think it was, or 82. Very long-term practitioner. Told me he's coming up uh, to do some practice with me, which I was thrilled about. Took a couple of weeks to actually happen. And I thought we were just gonna spend an afternoon together or maybe a day, but he incredibly generously spent three days with me and despite the fact that I've practiced Wing Chun for many years, you know, 24 plus, um, I always want to glean from anybody very good and very experienced, and I got so much out of this. Now, I just have to apologize for the untidy background in some of the film. It's just that I, I honestly made this just for me and I was going to show it to a couple of my students. Um, being a bit selfish, I suppose, and I we just got into it, and I didn't really think about setting up as I normally would. So I do apologise um, for those who are very fastidious. You might wonder why there's so much stuff, like junky stuff over on the left in my garage. Well, as uh, Jerry Seinfeld said, if stuff makes it into the garage, it's on the way to the dump, and that's exactly what's going on. There's a whole pile of stuff, family of five, accumulates, ready to go out either on the road clean up or actually get carted to the dump. So if you love Wing Chun, you'll ignore the unprofessional background. The sound should be good. Also apologise slightly for my belly. I'm, I'm really relaxing in the video. I'm not trying to look buff pull my gut in but because I had an operation I'd put on about seven kilos <laughs> which I've lost most of now I've lost five kilos in the last week and a half which is pretty good and if you want to know how I lose weight ask me in the comments I'll tell you my secret when I'm skinny enough I'm going to make a bit of a buff video and show you <laughs> how I do it and how I exercise and all that sort of thing but uh Enough of that. I want you to enjoy this. Listen to it closely. Bo goes into really minute detail about every little bit of the form. And he also explains how he thinks about setting up, which is a little different to some that I've been told. So you'll find that it's quite mind expanding to tell the truth because it's the same thing we always do, thinking about rising up the spine relaxing letting go of tension but he really nails it with talking about the trape trapezius muscles the great big diamond shaped muscle which a lot of people know the muscle they know it's like the traps on the shoulders but it actually runs right down your back and the lats come out either side of the big pointy triangle that's pointing down of the um, great big trapezius muscle but it also runs up your neck so the two muscles at the back of your neck on either side of your spine they're actually trapezius as well they go right up to behind your skull so his take on that is you, you sort of feel more like you're centered around the seventh cervical vertebrae so you you just feel like you're rising up the spine up the trapezius muscles he calls it up periscope which is a good idea flowing down the back like water flowing down flattening the scapulas which are the shoulder blades and also inflating out out to the shoulders and at the front inflating the chest slightly out to the shoulders on either side so it's it's really just a relaxing and filling up with force that's the always the essential thing in Wing Chun is that setup of the body first <clears throat> and then the things that he talks about with the arm they're great and the things I've once again been taught and that I've taught people but he just put it into a a deeper context for me and a lot of things clicked and I'll talk more about this in other videos but I guess the main one is this idea of bar arms what he calls bar arms 
Um, I've talked about this in other videos about Sigung calling them wrecking bars. And I've also talked about how the you know, elbow to hand is the same length as the sword. And in Cantonese, sao, as in chi sao, means from the hand to the elbow. So the whole thing's a sao. And Bo sort of showed me different ideas of sort of, you know, thinking about the elbow, but also out the fingers. And it just really, you'll see when he demonstrates to me and I do it well, I can really feel the whole, all, it's like all my body weights effortlessly in the sow. So I'll leave it at that. Uh, enjoy the video. Please ask any questions and I can pass on to Bo any comments. Um, I'll make sure he reads his, the comments on his video anyway. So you can see it's a beautiful day here in paradise. Wish you were here. Um, I'll see you next time. See ya. How are you going? I might just drop the glasses off. <coughs> you on? Yep. So we're, we're video on. Start there. Okay. So at this stage, what we're going to do is just talk about is, is, is the back setup and the understanding of bringing your back to your front, so to speak, when you want to apply movements. So later on, we'll, we'll, we'll get down to the stance and the foundation. So we're just looking at the upper part. So we've got the trapezium muscle, which runs across the shoulder. Then you've got, you got your scap and then you've got your lats down here. Now, the trapezium muscle is very interesting to look at because it has about three different ways. It can extend up, it extend out, and it can this way. roll down. So um, what we try to do here is to get the feeling of that the actual muscle group itself is rolling or falling or like water flowing down the back because this is responsible to rotate the arms and to bring the arms forward. So... What you find after a while, when you really get the setup, if you like, oh, your shoulder wants to move your arm, so to speak, you know, automatically, because that's your, that's the setup. Or we talk about the different circles that don't through the body and all that sort of stuff. So, so with this, when you're in this position here, is 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 about here. You have a sensation of releasing down, and when you do as you do that, then you extend up from the don't 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 use the chin. You extend a bit like a submarine, it's like, it's like you want to poke up and look above the clouds, so to speak. Just enough to move up, you get there, then release down here again, okay? Now the idea is that what we want to do here is that, is, well I use the word release, not relax, because we want to release it down to the scapula. Now when, when, when the scapula is done incorrect, you'll find that it'll poke out like, like a nose sort of at the back or your shoulder blade. The aim here is that we want to keep that flat all the time, okay? So we roll down, we keep this flat, and then I uh, use an imagery within myself. I focus to a point right down here where your lats, but see where the elbow is? So the lats, so this is my focal point, is right with the elbow. So that's probably the closest connection there is to your elbow, so to speak. So I was talking about super highway and internet through the body and all that sort of stuff there. So this is all about releasing and ex extending. So we're not talking about we're not talking about your tie gong. We're just talking about say one, two, and the three, so to speak. Or one, two, three. That's enough numbers. So when I when I go around the front and we'll get Dave just to move this way a little. So with releasing the back, we need to now and I use it. I open up the chest, chest cavity by, I'll use the word, to inflate softly. Now, not to expand. Expand is a hard word, so I'm a great, use a great ploy on words as far as that goes. So, so what actually happens here is that you slide, imagine your, your shoulders are starting to point out there, and what actually happens here when you do that, it'll make the arm sink down lower. So when you're doing it, so you sort of think, okay, I'll open up here, it'll open up the joint, it'll... It'll assist your rotor calf, so you get no rotor calf. In fact, boxes often talk about rotor calf, and, and I often wonder why they don't get injuries. Because they actually do open up the rotor calf. Mm. I didn't know there were boxes here, so it was, I don't know, I beat it just a while ago. So there's a feeling here of of um, uplifting or raising or rising softly, extending up through the back, up to the top of there, the pinnacle at the top here, and and not and to also, the important thing is that when you do it, is that you feel like your, your bottom is relaxed. 
Now, people have, do have a habit, it's really funny, in Hong Kong. <laughs> it was so embarrassing because Sigung went up to one guy, I don't know what he said in Chinese, but he, but he grabbed the guy's bum and it was all tense, it was all rigid. And, well, the whole place cracked up laughing, I don't know what he said in Chinese. <laughs> and he said, oh, no, 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 no. Like <laughs> chicken butt or something oh, like that? Something, something like that, I mean, it was really quite funny. But anyway, so once you get to this point here, now what David got to do is he has a feeling that softly, wants to reach the ground so we're not going to worry with that but but this is it like he wants to touch the ground by the way of softness not hardness okay now there's a way he can do this he can do it both hands he can really extend his fingers down really really hard you don't worry if it's not film okay really tense up really really hard but then suddenly he releases and what you find that moves right up to your shoulder joint mm. and the feeling of Going down to the ground, the second last knuckle of this always being down low. So this is just what we call, this is something that I do before I actually start my form. Uh, I call it prerequisite to starting my form. So I'm not happy till this feels nice, this feels down, this feels open, this feels like it's reaching, but everything's all nice and soft. Now if there's a hardness here, you'll know straight away when you go and do something because it won't work. So we'll go through it again. Trapezius, rolling down the back, you feel like there's water flowing down your back. It'll assist the extension of this and the, and, and the raising up of the head. Okay, or popping up, so to speak, look, trying to look above the clouds. To come down to your scapula and to always feel this is always falling. When you're doing movement, when you're going through the form, you will always feel that this is down and and this is reaching to the ground or, or trying to extend to the ground. That's probably a bit of a hard word, but pointing to the ground might, might be just a better word to use, but in a, in a soft manner. Now, what, yeah. your idea was the elbows touching the ground too, wasn't it? Yeah, well, if we go back when I'm to... Turned up like uh, that. Yeah, we can pick that up. So, so what... <clears throat> so what... I'll go in this one, we'll leave you here. What, what we'll do here, so... So, Dave would be at a point of things like, I feel really good now, I feel set up, I feel my, my ankles are soft, my knees, I can rock and roll. He just drops his weight a little bit from the kneecap. I feel it, and then, but then extend up again once you've done that. So to make sure it's all remaining there. And then he thinks, okay, I want to start my form now. I feel in a good place. Now what he's going to do, he's actually going to move his elbow backwards by the way of an internal rotation on the, or coiling or spiraling backwards on the inner elbow. Okay, so it has to be the inner elbow. So what he's done before you do, so what he's going to do, as, as he goes back, he's going to imagine that the elbow is heading down towards the ground behind her. It can't, okay? But that's to keep the shoulders down. Mm -hmm. So you feel like this is always sinking to ground. So, and, and this movement here, is, this here from here is continuous as he goes back here and it'll raise the arm just so when he gets to here, he's in that position here. Now, from here, we do both arms, do the side as well here. Now, once he gets to here now, this can still be holding, which means we've still got a certain amount of tension up here now. There's a reason why I've employed this later on, you probably won't even worry about it, is to actually bring it back, bring it back, but then release this, and as he releases that, the elbow should drop down, and the arm will slightly come up like that. So now he has a feeling of hanging elbow, or his, his whole movement here is, uh, and I've only sort of un understood this reasoning myself, that this is like a cradle, because Sigal used to talk about the cradle, and, and I don't think any of us knew what, what, what he actually meant. Now, so he's got to feel, oh, my, my elbows are bouncing, you know, like that, that. Now, the good thing about this part here is that there's two ways, and even from this position here, let's say David decides he wants to move, because well, we're going to do the form later on, we're just going to take it apart from the form, is that he wants to move his fist towards me from here. Now, if he moves the fist towards me via the fist doing the movement, this is what will happen. It won't work. And he creates tension, see? So all he does now, he releases everything, exact same as what he was before. He uses his elbow to push his bar arm and fist towards me. I keep sinking your elbow as you go. And this is what happens straight away. So 
When we talk about the Wing Chun grab the spine with the mind, it's in here. He feels like he's in here. He got hold of my spine because just know the, in, the incorrect one, even though he's in the correct position, but he moved from here. There you go. Went back to his core. Mm. As soon as you release this down, you go, oh, that feels nice. Relaxes his back, keeps releasing his back, and moves his elbow towards me, which is now straight away or gone. And it's effortless. I can hang on two arms here. He doesn't worry about that. All he does, even if I squeeze hard, that's nothing. He thinks about the movement he has to do. You relax the back and, uh, <laughs> and off you go. Yeah, yeah. And it's a, it's a bloody horrible feeling from my part. <laughs> okay? So that's that part of it. Yeah, great. Think you've nothing to on that? Hey? Yeah, yeah no, that, that was um, wonderful. You know, you're, um, the main emphasis here, we, we talk about Sudanam Tar form, is that every movement you do is is something, I'll, I'll put it that way, or every movement in itself is its own technique. We're not saying, oh, we did this take down lock bar and all that sort of stuff. This is about applying movement. So Sudanam Tar, to me, is the technique. You just learn the movements from that to apply. Mm -hmm. And that's what this is all about. So too many people go through the fundamentals of, yeah, pack, shower, fork, shower, pa, 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 up, cut down, all that sort of stuff. But with no idea. So there's two ways you can do the form, with idea or no idea. We want idea, okay? And what does it mean? Everlasting springtime, see them say form, little idea, small idea, small thoughts, they never stop. And that's what it's all about. So the key here we talked about just previously before about releasing down here, relaxing, extending up here, and by the way, we, we're not going to go down the Taigong area just now because for some of the is a bit too much. Um, but it's learning how to always have that open cavity here and, and to be releasing down the ground because we've got multiple circles here. There's one here, there's another one here, there's another one there, there's another one at the knee, another one down the ground, there's a full head and a full body. We talk about the round shapes. Then from front on, we talk about the triangles going to the centre of my core, okay? So <clears throat> with this... When you feel that, one must feel that you're reaching, you're, you're touching the ground, not, this, not the end of your fingertips, that creates hardness. It's the second row of knuckles, you focus this to here. But what I do get to do is get the people to stretch down hard and just put one finger up here, 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 and then what's the I'm going to release down the bottom? Mm, yeah, totally. <laughs> Massive, isn't totally it? Gone. Yeah, yeah. So, and that's just a thing we'll do before we start training is to get rid of all the bad energy so to speak now the key here is that why my my focus of saying is that david imagines actually his fingers are actually running are gonna slide along the floor because what he must do he must keep extending through his inner of his arm outwards he can't tense here at all okay so for example here let's say he thinks he's got it right and what you're going to do is just here and you're going to be a little bit of bend here and just, but don't, don't slide along the ground. Try and do the movement without reaching to the ground. So in other words, if he does it wrong, what actually happens you now, he feels like his body's going back. Yeah, on the now, it's let's, like I'm now let's do the same thing. This one, he's going to imagine that he's touching the ground and he's going to create an arc here. See, so there's that semi-arc coming up when he does the movement. Now, if someone was doing this and not was going to happen, they're going to end up outside the guard's doors, that's for sure, okay? So we're, I'm going to ask them nicely to do it nicely to me, please, okay? So, instinctively, the grab signifies release, not male thing, tense. Mm. We need the opposite. So yeah. this is your mindset now. This is how the training is. Yeah, this is how the training is, okay? Way. You go the opposite side of if I, now. I'm using, in a, in, we'll call it our training manual, finger and thumb rule just now, because what we've got to be careful about, and David's aware of what's happening, but in general, if I just go up and grab someone like that, they're going to do it totally wrong. So I don't want to give them threat. I want them to feel what they need to do. Then I might do a full arm grab to see if we can fight any, which he will do. So so from, from a teaching perspective, finger and thumb, as soon as I do this, he just releases down to the ground, extends his neck up, and slowly slides his fingers along the footpath of the concrete here. Yeah, so, so it's just the shoulder is pivoting from the shoulder, it's going forward. Yeah, it's just swinging the arm. Yeah. Now, if he wants to be nasty, he could do this. Okay, so I'm here, 
I think I've got Holm here, Sonny. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, mate. Yoga, yoga. So, so this is what happens when you learn to release down through here, extending through is like growing, growing, growing through your hands. Okay. Mm. So now what we're going to do here, just that we're actually going to practice. To me, this is the old way to do it. It's like you know, I've arrived here to start my form. To me, he wants to start the form now. He's already started by. Sink is away, feeling good, feeling upright. He's going to coil the elbow backwards like that to raise his arm. Okay, both of them. Okay, so he releases down the inner, the inner elbow, which is here, not across the body. It's rotating, coiling, or spiraling inwards as he goes back. It's like see how the elbow. You should actually feel when you do this how the elbow from here, um, from that. See how the outer arm comes in? See mm -hmm. it lines up? Yep. Now, if I just grab a bit more hard earth, okay? With no spine, I'm going to try and bring my elbow back. I'm going to release down, grab hard, and I'm going to try and bring my elbow in. <coughs> okay? Yep. I'll try and use the outside of the elbow, not the inside. Grab hard earth. Okay? No good. So what I'm going to go is go soft, inner elbow, and move back. Effortless, okay? So no tension. So it's the inner elbow. If you play golf, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay. Right there, you got there. Come forward a little bit. Yeah, okay. So the inner elbow, and he's got to feel like his elbow wants to touch the ground behind him. And it elevates that hand. Really good. He gets here, he releases his back to drop the elbow down. That's it. Just leave me and just just right there. That's it. Boom. The first part of the form is going to start like this, the double, the double cut down. So get your presence at me, because the moment you start to move to do the cut down, I'm already gone. I call it down periscope, dive, 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 dive. Oh, fingers, fingers, yeah. I'll hang on about here so that hint of movement. No, release. Let's see what we've got. Hope your chest carried. Now you're at me. <laughs> see, 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 your elbows are out of the just moving me straight away. <laughs> yeah. But before that, it wasn't happening. Yeah. Like a big. I've been thinking about the trapezius for years, you know, but this, <clears throat> this is like, for me, this is really. It's, it's new. It's, it's massive. It's, it's a feeling. Yeah. It's like, whoa. It feeling, yeah. You feel that. And it, and it just straight away makes all that. Yeah. Drop and roll and yeah. So it's a three-dimensional sort of relax. It is, yeah. So from here he just cuts down just slowly from the ground here. Now note what happens if he does it again without me being there. When he does it, the elbow is moving forward. He just puts it down there. Okay. Now let's do uh, not so much wrong without the elbows he tries to do it. And it goes gone back to you straight away. Yeah. So what? So this is good practice. So I often do the bad and the good, because you get to identify. I'm happy with this one. I don't like that one, so I'll do this one instead of that one. That's what you're really doing, right? And this just, you know, we're used to this sort of idea, but I've been telling people for quite a few videos. This is what really separates uh, Chu Shong Tin Chun oh, yeah, yeah. is this testing, this this testing from a master with the students. This is really separates the sheep from the goats because whenever people say to me, oh, I can do things, I go, okay, give them a little bit of resistance. And I'll see it's just getting bored. So let's work out what's happening. So, so reality is, when we talk about pseudonym tar form, although we sort of identify in separate movements here, the, the idea that his, our forms will be switched on all the way through. So if you were blindfolded, had something on, I'll blindfold you. So it's not just a individual movement. What we're showing now, his whole body is set up all the time doing the form. That's, that's this is the key here. Okay. So we've done the first part there. He releases the back. Let's it hang a little bit. Let's feel feel the hanging. Mm -hmm. Okay. Does the first cutting down part. Just for your hand. Good. Now from here, what'll actually happen here? That 
when Dave does his next move, it's actually, this will actually go, it'll actually, the, the upper arm will go forward, but it's only because of the extension of the elbow. The elbow moves forward. He will just point his fingers upwards. That's all he's gonna do on that one, okay? There's a slight little opening for the wrist there, not hard, so you, like you wanna go around something. So I know that with my hands here, and that's here. Well, that just open up, open this cavity up a little bit here. Oh, that's it. Okay, now straight away, now what I felt was this. I, want, I need to feel that when you do this, he makes the elbow. See how the elbow wants to sink down when you do this? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Put one hand on top of me here. So if I do this, see that see so it the elbows? Yeah, see? Yeah. So what I gotta do you know, here, I need to go around that, see? Oh. Yeah. Yep. So you wanna go around my hand. Yeah, I get you. Reach out. And get the elbow. <laughs> you know when you got it, because the elbow's gone straight through me. Yeah. Well, that, that circular idea is like the arc or the radius or... It sort of becomes... Do you ever feel like you're a human spanner or something like oh, that? something like that, mate. Yeah. <laughs> it's good standing. <laughs> yeah. Let's look at this practicality. Someone comes up and grabs your arm really hard. Oh. Sorry, grab hard. You raise. Yes. If he does the inside one over top of you, here, raise. But... If I don't use my elbow, and Dave is really strong, strong. Oh, Jesus! Let me tell you. <laughs> Relax. Yeah. Elbow, elbow. It's close to your body. It's got more power. One of the things that's really beautiful about this is that people tend to think martial arts is about bam, 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 bam. You know, oh. punishing somebody, smashing them. But this art, you can be really peaceful and incredibly powerful, and give them a bloody message. You, oh, yeah. You better not push me as I hit you, mm -hmm. you feel what I'm, you're trying to stop me, I'm effortlessly moving you. Yeah. Yeah. We like say, like, it's not rocket science you've you got your finger there pointing at me, saying to me, mm. I've had enough of you. I've had enough of you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So, so this movement here, without me doing anything, rotates from the wrist. He moves the elbows forward to elevate the hand movement. Just keep this open a little bit. Tom, bring your elbows. Go down again. So as you're going up, try it and open your joints when you're going up. That's about it. So you should feel like this is, yeah. And did it be doing wrong? I'm, I'm sort of, because I'm quite broad shouldered, I, I, when I come to there, I feel like this happens. Slide this. Yeah, right. You just move the elbows forward from where Imagine move to see what's happening. You're here, you were there, and what you did then you did this. See how the elbows came in? Mm -hmm. Leave them there. Yeah. Yeah. Just rotate. Yeah. yeah. I'll give you a good example of this. Put your hand on top. This one. This one. This is the pivotal point. Mm. That's the pivotal. Here is a pivotal point. Here is the pivotal point. And you're just rolling around. It. Just roll around. So, or an axis, or what do you want to call it? Because that's who you are. Uh, if I was say this side here, yeah, here's the pivotal point. But it's, it's due to my arm going forward that pushes my bar arm forward. Now, watch what happened. I tried to push it. I'm talking about forearm. I call it bar arm. It's really mad. I tried to put more pressure. I tried to use my bar arm. <laughs> so, say there. I relax. Okay. So you can try that. So you think, okay, so my hand's here, just dropping out of the way for now. And for whatever reason, your hand's here, like this is the pivot point. So he drops in there, he raises from there. It's a thought process. <laughs> so, you're, it, so it doesn't really worry you. Where, where do I put my hand? But I put my hand here. Yeah. There's the pivotal point. <laughs> and as you really said yesterday, like, you call it the bar arm. I like that idea because it's it's like a like a bar. Like the, yeah, uh, one of my friends said it was like uh, wrecking bars. Wrecking bar, yeah. I think Seagong actually said that. Somebody told me Seagong called them wrecking bars, and somebody else called them baseball bats. Okay, so I've got to pop this. <laughs> I don't know. So I'm 
Yeah. Yeah. So, so, so if I'm I here, think he might have done because it was apparently from Siegel. So, 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 just for camera wait for a minute. I mean, just because the camera. So, I know that if I was here, your your position now is to release that down and raise this up mm -hmm. and move it forward. That's all it is. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So now, what what we've got to do here? Once David gets <coughs> to this point here, he's gone through and he's raised up to here. Just keep it. Just open it. Open. See how you put it here. You're probably used to it now. See, so you've got to think of this, this sliding it through, not, not coming across. It's only your hands that are directing over here. Right. Now, saying because you're a big man, I've got the KB. KB can only get his hands here. I don't care. I'd sooner do, do that. Yeah, right. Because he can't do the movement once he does that. As long as you don't sort of crush don't him. Don't hunt right. Yeah. So, so once we're in this position here, and by the way, David still feels like he's pointing to the sky here, so to speak. Still feel like he, what well, well, I actually call it growing elbow sometimes. It wants to release and just keep, keep that forward mass all the time. Now he has to come down. So he will subtly close his fist. But as you well, come down here, just feel like your, your chest cavity opened up. So what's my shoulders? My chest cavity up. See my shoulders coming down? Mm -hmm. And releasing down. Find that soft spot. Take the elbow back. Back to here. And release. So I can go back to that top part here. Yeah. Softly clasp this. And what should happen here if your elbows are already pointing at me? Keep the elbows pointing at me. Keep 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 your keep your focus. I call it your you know, your forward focus to me, like that. Keep that there. So you watch what happens there when you go to bring your elbows down slowly. Oh, Pray you man. Your kneecaps. Do it, you. Great, great idea. Okay, so the elbows are in. I try to do it, and I go. I open up. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> yeah. It really feels like that body you weight. Size. Size. Like, oh, yeah, the whole body weight sort of rolls at you like something yeah. dropped out. Well, okay. Let's get a good point. So let's, as you come down, move your hands back towards you. See what happens. So you've got a semi class. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Semi-class fist here. Not in there, see? Mm. So, you, so it's like this imagery here. Because you've got focusing forward here all the time, you're maintaining that. When he sinks down, see how the hand's going forward? Automatically by itself. Oh! Sore knee. I'm going to join the Indian tribe. You have sore knees? <laughs> okay. So you go back and then you release and you feel, oh, that's a wonderful bow. I'm going to try something else now. Okay. Fist hand. <clears throat> you move the elbow forward, but you direct your fist to there. Don't bring your elbow. See what happens? Mm -hmm. You just direct your elbow from, you move that forward, just do it, you move that forward and you bring that to there. Now, if you're a senior, I wouldn't worry. I'll do it from there. We're trying to get the new beginners set on theory. Yeah, so I don't worry too much about that for the sake of. Well, team. a lot of the people who watch this are fairly junior, but I do have yeah. lots of very senior people have been watching it lately. Make sure I'm not thinking back. Good. Open up. This should move me, see. One leg, but see, you don't have to bring your elbow, you just bring your elbow, you just bring that there, you lead the elbow slightly forward, you just place it here. Okay, good. Okay, yeah, that's good. That's good. Release this. So it's a sort of a swinging sort of thing. It's a curve, it's a curve. Yeah. Mm, no, that's how yeah, you feel it as a pivot to the. Yeah. 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 So we just softly place, and I want you to do this softly. Sit your body up, release them down, connect, connect to here. He's going to do that and as he does that the inner elbow when it clears through will start to coil inwards in 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 like that 
I'll give this here to work too as well. So now this one here. Sorry, without doing it yet, it's going to be hard to feel this. You already feel it there. Mm. So once you get to here, go. Sometimes you go to do that. Some might be do that. Doesn't matter. I don't think that Damon does it because he's always set up. We're not there yet. <laughs> So for you to relax, so you feel like when this rotates, it's that circle, that element, and it rolls into me. When you do it, so you just release your whole body. Nice. Get your elbow, push your bar up, push your fist. <coughs> yeah, good. Can be better. Let's go. Let's go to five past twelve. Uh, five to twelve, rather. Don't rush it. Nice and slow. Because the coiling has to happen all, all the way. Okay. So, so it's not the coil is not coming in like that. Not across, it's, it's coiling a... forward. So the bullet's going down the barrel. Um, the coiling is not just the piston, it's sort of like this whole thing. That's right, the whole thing, yeah. yeah. Now you identify that if you come if you come to here, like that. Mm. Okay. Let me just not push here, that goes straight through your shoulder. Mm. If it's out here. You push me, that goes back through your shoulder. Mm. Relax. Bring your elbow in slightly. So we're going to do it from a fixed position. So what I'm saying here, nothing wrong with that. That's 12 o'clock. But try and release your back and push towards me at 12 o'clock, okay? Release your back, push towards me. Hold it there. No, I want you to hold it, hold it. Now, bring your elbow in slightly to make this five too tall. But extend, extend, extend. Extend, extend more. Open up, open up. Yeah, I was tensing up the right. shoulder then. Uh, what position will you do it for? Or here? Where do we do it from? Oh, oh you're for that position. Yeah, I'm about. Okay, so just go back. I'm going to do it to you. Okay. So uh, we'll do it from here. Give me pressure. Can you feel that? I'm going to open it and go. Can you feel that? Now feel this. Mm. Yeah, right. Very. Yeah. Focus on it. I have got one, yes. Actually, just do your hand. Just do your hand. I'll tell you what, I'm going to do it hard. You can resist it. Mm. Vertical fist, bang. Coiling. Mm. Feel the afterburner? Yeah. <laughs> Go for the fuck was that? <laughs> so, this is the reason why. Now, if I go right in, now uh, I'll go right in and do this, and it's I've just, just damn it myself. Yeah. Mm. Very interesting. It really had a, it did have like a, like you said, half and down. It's, it's, it's a weight, it's, going. it's a body coming from the back. It's like, it was like a weight on a, on a rope. Just yeah, yeah, yeah. Going. Yeah. Doesn't have any mind, doesn't yeah. stop. Just goes. It's a beautiful paint, it's a really beautiful paint. But when you think, we do this all the time. If I'm in a fish we do it with coins. Yeah, right. But I know we're doing it. Why we're doing a cheese out too, aren't we? You know, you know right? why, yeah. Well, yeah. So I know if, if you sort of punch in and want to come to here, it's actually rolling from here. Yeah. You know? I haven't always taught me to, to roll the forearm from that there. Yeah. So sort of turn the. No, or, but he's right, but move the elbow forward to roll the arm. Take the pressure off, you see? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So if you just roll, you're still carrying. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah, so that's something you, you, you can work on when you're doing. Um, if you demonstrate on somebody, be careful that they're going to be weird that they're going to feel something they haven't felt before. So maybe put a leg back. So what you've got to do is, the first one's straight vertical punch. Mm -hmm. Now, entry part here. <coughs> yeah, shoulder. Grab. Yeah, it might feel hard. 
Oh, you want to go around a bit? Yeah. Okay. Now, I'm going to sit, my stance is good, but now I want you to feel what's happening with my shoulder here. Yeah, okay. so it's very tense. Coil. Mm. Coil. Coil. Now, go to here. How hard that way. <laughs> That's come back at me now. Yeah, yeah. You're going to find this will say 5 past 12 or 5 to 12. 5 to 12 on the left. Yeah. 5 past oh, 12 yeah. on the right. Just do it, uh, do it steadily just for now, from here. Release everything just the same. So just push against my hand like that, without, and no coiling. Okay, hold it there. Release your back. Down through your elbow. And coil your elbow towards as you, as you move. You should, you should feel like this went right back through your body, from your body. It's like, you're, come on, follow me. Yeah, it felt like a, a flow. Like a circle, yeah. Like an arc. Like, once again, I, as I thought out like that. Yeah. Because that's my problem, is I, I, I forget to do that. I, I haven't really ever thought too much about that. But um, that, as soon as I went like that, then I could feel that Ooh. flow. Oh, and yeah, like yeah. you said, the corkscrew just seems to be just right. That's what water so, was so, saying. So, you, funny enough, you know, I, went, I talked to Evan. And, uh, in South Australia about this and he come back to me and he said oh Bo he said mine's about 10 past 12 I said that's a lot it's probably your structure you see about 4 months later hey Bo you know what you're right actually it's back to 5 past 12 because <laughs> what, what he was starting to feel and identify that certain things as a body weren't doing what they should have been doing that you, when you get to here you realise now it is quite simple um, just put here Finger there, okay. If I go to quarter past 12, what happened to the elbow? Yeah, it's in that way. There's no point, it's got to have to that wants to go forward. So, how did you come up with this five past 12? Oh, I don't know. I really look, how did I come up with extending the spine and releasing the back? Accidental. I was driving the car coming home from work one day and I wasn't even thinking about anything. Deerfoot Road coming past Banks down. And all of a sudden, I've gone. Pull over, bro. I pulled over. I'm, I'm yeah. beating it. Now, with that's because the subconscious mind's working, trying to get me here. But I wasn't thinking <coughs> wind chop. It just it was like, mm. oh, fancy gong. Yeah. <laughs> it was almost like that. Yeah. You know, I, I, saw, I saw so. I don't believe in that, but yeah, you know, it's like that. And so I had to keep repeating it mm. to get the feel. So I knew that this felt good. It felt soft, felt relaxed, and felt open. And then. The, the cavity thing came because of my singing and background and all that sort of stuff, it's sort of opening the diaphragm. Right, sort of yeah. Really, you know, it's not open, but not hard yet, not hard opening, you know. Well, my, my friend Steve, I was saying about you know, Steve Long, he said to me, um, he's a very, very smart guy, and he says, Dave, your problem is your shoulders. Mm -hmm. You know, he says, you got to learn to go that way. He said that to me a couple of years ago, and I thought, I thought about it for a while, and then I sort of forgot. But did they teach you how to do it though? Um, <laughs> not the way you're teaching, no. no. But it, it was just weird. Yeah, but the point was there. We had a bit of lunch and I was heading off to an aeroplane. So he just, that was his gift was, have a think about this. But I, you know, you've just brought it all back in spades. So it, it really does make a big difference that flowing out there. And down, and around. it's great stuff. So what we might do, because we're going to be doing a fair bit, let's, it's, it's probably uncounted, but that's what you call it. Let's just step in that side because that's the way you're facing camera anyway. Mm -hmm. And it's your left side, that's your off side. So he can just sit there and wait and hang on and then hang himself there for the time being. Okay. So we've <coughs> gone back to here. So you've done what I've said. You've released your back again to let, to let the elbow feel like it's, it's hanging, it's hanging, it's hanging again. Okay. This is the part because Tan's here has got to feel like it's, it's even though it's here, but I'm not supposed to be here, so it's pointing. No, it doesn't matter. Because if I do times to here, eventually it gets to where I want to be. If I do it from here, it gets to where I want it to be. Yeah. And Seagull said that, didn't he? It doesn't matter. It doesn't, doesn't matter what, where you go, where where you you go it from. Yeah. yeah all, we're, all we're trying to do is the point of you feel it coming from your elbow. Your mm -hmm. elbow push your bar down. So I would do, so in this position here, 
I'm hanging here. Straight away, I'll, you, you feel this. Mm. And then, whoa, bang, whack. So you open at the point, this is like a loaded gun, your fingers on the bloody trigger, you know. So you, if you talk about the growth or the extension through the body, you can relate to that. You feel, I want to bring this to the fingertips from the elbow before I even move. So you open out. <coughs> but, don't forget that. See, they teach us in Tansi how bringing the elbow in. Mm. And I always used to have problems because when I started this, I was doing a lot of bodybuilding. My lats were really yeah, bulky yes, and I'd be going, but I can't, <laughs> my bloody elbow wasn't. You bring oh, it when you feel free. And so one day you can do it. And I was like, well, maybe. Yeah. But maybe when you feel, you'll feel, it's you'll more feel when you're mind, free. Yeah. Yeah. Once you open this up a lot more here, you feel this up and you know in about six months time, you're going to say, oh, but I can feel like I slide my old shoulders over the other door post. You know what I mean? Yeah, That's right. what it feels like. So you get this massive, Release, release of, of, because uh, I, I have to show this. Just put your hand up there. there. And this. <coughs> so this is not sliding. I'm trying to release my elbow down. Okay. So the adverse is that that the, all that hard energy goes back to me. Yep. Okay? So <laughs> it's quite exceptional. It really feels like mud slide down a hill. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, <laughs> mud slide down a hill. Whatever. Yes, you're saying. I'll take that. Yeah. <laughs> and and obviously the tans out is actually planing. It's planing until it gets to that point and it becomes flat. We'll go back to the beginning of this. I want to feel it right from the beginning. Remember. The movement starts at the beginning. You might be against the wall. I've got area like that. Mm. The elbow is going to be the instigator here. You just happen to point your fingers. Oh. <laughs> You're going to be the guy saying, where the fuck are you being? <laughs> okay. It's exciting, isn't it? your back, extend your neck up, soft, feel the snake coming through, wait, wait, actually, there's a word, it's good. Actually, actually, I can't use the word, but it's what they call wait, waking the snake, so I said that in front of one of the girls one day, and, and, <laughs> and Patsy got Bo, <laughs> oh fuck, Okay, point taken. I think blokes don't always <laughs> get those sort of phallic things and then somebody else, oh yeah, yeah, they're just sort of Release making, the back, no? Sink there, sink there, let the slide, sink there, let the here. Yeah. Open up the flower now. The near time is having your elbow in. Boom! Suddenly it's like that propulsion coming at me. Mm. And it's a definite feeling that, that sliding power. It is like water, you know. It yeah. really does feel like this. Well, I, I think of when, when, when I think of Tansi, I think of the flower. The flower folded out. It, it didn't go, thump. It, it, the leaves rolled out. Yeah. And I like your beautiful, what you said about beautiful springtime. And a couple of Chinese guys have said to me, oh, that it doesn't really mean, that doesn't mean anything. But personally, I don't know, I find it hard to buy. It, it just seems so obvious that it means. Yeah. You know, the, the rising energy, natural energy of spring, beautiful springtime. You know, it's, like, it's stood up against the elements. That's yeah, what you're saying, yeah. Plants grow up through the ground, through the snow, bloom, despite that it's absolutely freezing. And Well, if you think of the opposite of my summer show, you've got, you've got all, all those coils on its arm, they're actually ferns. And that's the fern before it comes out to create right. what looks like the feather. Is actually more like is more the, the actual. It comes from the, some of the swamp um, plants and that. And what, yeah, I've got ferns out the back that have that like a real yeah. boiling. Yeah, so coming to open now. Goes, so yeah. you see that like Adam got his, and he's got the, each one. A couple of them resemble Morgan, Adam, and some Jason in New Zealand. And then another one over here is a short one, which means that's an offset branch from that family there. So it's very. Mm -hmm. The one he's got is very family orientated. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That, that's good, mate, by the way. Yeah, that's good. Softly. Extend your up here. It's got 
in the back of the neck. And it's just as soft as like reaching, softly reaching. And as you reach up, you find this a little bit. So while you're up there, you can release down again. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good, good. Now, say this, see what happened there? See, there's no energy there now. Mm -hmm. So you must maintain forwardness all the time. Because this might be a technique. You might want to, I'm going to walk into me. Mm. Whoop! That's it. That's a yeah. movement, yeah. Oh. It's funny how like, your whole back, you say, get home at night, hang on. get on the floor, do your sit ups, bro. <laughs> Yeah, it, it really takes a hold of us, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. I'm bloody hope does it? It's like when you do it, I, you hear me grunt because it's like, <laughs> it's just sort of like a suffocation of the vertebrae. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, so, so I always maintain that. If we're coming slightly here, that's more to get the alignment from here. But later on, mate, you can do, you can do your task here like that. Because you're understanding. Yeah. You want to do it? You want to try one? Yeah. Set it up. I want you to imagine, focus out here if you're open, release from your back. Okay, be soft, open up. Open up. Relax your back, relax your back. Present, I need presence. The more I do this, the more you think softer, you raise up, start. Mm. <sighs> Let your elbow sink down more so it doesn't. Yeah! <laughs> it's an offset. Yeah. And you do feel like a springy structure, like a, a tree in the wind or something, you know? Like a big heavy tree and it's sort of this way. Hug the bear, hug the bear. Okay, so we're out here. You got the soft quad, could you just. Uh, Hold your hand like that. Don't don't cut it short and come to here first. Think of some sort of application. So no, you just had hold on wrist for you like that. Grab hard. Yeah. So we see. Yeah. yeah. You got to one, two. This is like cutting down the inside of my arm there. You sort of cut down into here like that. And he's obviously rolling around and then obviously into your torso. Okay. Always be forward, always be forward, always be loaded down. And the bamboo, bow and arrow, is the bow. <laughs> so, I, I, okay, so we're doing. I'm going to come back, yeah. Okay. So I'm just getting a feeling of that inside. No, 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 no. It comes, come back this way. Oh, this yes. Way. Torso. Torso Sorry. means to Sorry. drag. I, I remember it. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I just go like that. Yeah. From there. It's your roll to pull your hand back, but the wrist must go straight back to there. Yeah. Um, so you're probably seeing Seagull when he gets a bit of string and does this. Yeah. He holds a bit of string and he's trying to get the guy. I mean, uh, not our wing is uh, way, You're trying to get way to bring the wrist along, but just sink the elbow for it. And that's why I often, I actually just practice like that. Mm. Uh, so the idea is that you don't stop there, so he went and the elbow's there. Elbow must pull the arm back. Good, 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 good. One hang on, so I'm, I'm like, the reason I think we've got fucked up thumbs is because of Wen Chung. <laughs> They've been doing cut downs on your thumb. Yeah, it's so trippy. It's dislocated, you know. <laughs> that felt like nothing, like really nothing. Did it? Oh, that's good. It was almost like I accidentally did it. And all I was thinking about was this. I was just thinking so, that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and that just sort of was out there doing its thing. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. So you go back to you again. Yep. yep. Make sure that thumb does get and a little bit of a circle here, a slight circle. 
So this is just do that when I go no, live. I don't get it. I took the analog file. No, just let the sink when you do it. Sink out your account and let it drop, let it drop. Oh yeah. Like a garden set of yeah. See everything has to be something. Mm. So I'm just getting you to try that out. Yeah. Oh. Okay, all right, fair enough. <laughs> okay, but I'm just trying to get to that. Any that combo out of me. No, but it's just it's meaningful that it is something. Mm. And we, we tend to think just the hand, the wrist thing, it can't be powerful because it's a tiny thing, but it's really the same, isn't it? Open it. So, what happens here? A lot of people they close it. So when you close it, you can't use it. Mm. You, you actually open it outwards and you feel like you're reaching over there somewhere. I don't see, you know, see how hard this came in there? So you identify, uh, this is my softness here. I'm happy with that there. Okay, not to say later on, you'll be able to do it there, it'll be soft. Mm. But we need a, a, let's call it a, a foundation to start from here. So we're gonna say, you know, we just wanna latch around something from here. And like it's extended through here, pointing over there, so to speak. Yeah, come to there. Yeah, it's a no from me. Please. Always remember, folks, you open your elbow in. So when you get here, you go punch. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Because you watch the difference. Okay, I'll, I'll let you do the difference. Okay. Let's go to here, wrong. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, now hold it there and keep the energy on. Now maintain mass here. Now start to coil your elbow inwards. See how it's straight through, straight away, like a bow and arrow. Ping. I'll do it to you. I hate telling bullshit. So I know there's, I'm here, okay? Yep. Relax. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I didn't do it here, I just brought the alignment. It's just the slightest sort of roll yeah. in, isn't it? So with the, the, the time sour one, you don't come so much in. But it comes to the point where, take the tank, so like you got, say, two, say two triangles here. It comes in a little bit. Because there's a point here, as I see, like there's a point here. So, for example, I'm, uh, I'll open it for someone here. I'm in this position here that I want to get the parallel to you. So I could either be here or I could be here. See how the one mass is now actually. Mm. So I'm going to need to cut down real. Always try to be forward, have your mass out there. You know, you're focusing to that mm. point. My vertebrae is your focal point. Get inside my body, grab my spine. So when it's here, <laughs> yeah, like that. Yeah. Yeah. Is that where the spine of mine? Yeah, I sort of like, I just feel like doing this. I'm trying to find it, but it's got all rubbery. <laughs> it's got a rub on you. Yeah. yeah, so just go back to Fox there again. See how that's leading here? Just let it go, let it go, let it go. Let it lead here. Mm -hmm. All you do is drink that. Good, it's better than like that. Here is deltoid. Yeah. Maybe that's all here. In the wrong position, feel that your shoulder. Yep. Now hold it, hold it, hold it. Let's get out of that. Let's coil the elbow wounds and get it corrected out. Yeah, hey, get around it, see? Yeah, you got yeah. around it from there. So I was yeah. So now there's one here and you got my you got my hand here like that. You know, here. Oh freak God, I'm just gonna get around it. I don't fight it. Yeah. And it's just for those who are still listening, I'm sure there's plenty of fanatics. Um <coughs> Bo, uh, Bo was saying yesterday. How important is, like when we were doing the stiffening the fingers and all that and go to, to sort of do it wrong? or Do it wrong, yeah. yeah. Try it wrong. So try, it try it wrong and then you, you really do feel a difference. 
it, it's like you can your mind can grab oh yeah okay that's what the different yeah this is what i would normally do naturally everybody 99.9% of humans it, it, it'd, it. it'd be like, so someone doing it correct all his life, but when he did it wrong, he didn't know how to correct that wrongness. Because it was always right. Yeah, right. <laughs> Isn't it? Yeah. He knows there's something wrong, but he can't correct because he doesn't know how to. Because yeah. he's always done it correctly, so to speak, you know what I mean? That's it. you gotta, you got to know what's right. you got to feel yeah. it. They're, they're, I'd say probably the difference between Wing Chun and a lot of other martial arts, because the depth is so deep, you'll always make mistakes before you can learn how to do it. Whereas if you went to a convention school, someone said, do that, oh, that's not, oh I can do that. Because mm. you don't even understand the mechanics of the audience is just chopping down. Here we say, sink it all the way down, and you go, oh, oh, but that's a lot. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it's easy to kid yourself, especially in the early days, if you're strong. Like me, you know, when I started, I was weight training all the time, surfing, all sorts of stuff, and I'd get fairly weak people, and I'd be going, oh, look, effortless cut down. Mm. Mm. And then the teacher would go, try it. Oh. Yeah. It's easy. It's just years and brute force, you just it feels effortless. Yeah. It, you know, you're easily crushing this person, but you've got to All right, so we've gone out so now last time back mm -hmm. we know we've got to do this three times, but not we're not gonna worry about this just now. Yeah. So you just come back, you sink the elbow to put your hand on you back to here. Release again. So here which one we go back, release. Do another minute, go back, you release. It's a happy all the time. Little stuff circles, so it's but it's a ball, circle. not it's, it's a ball, it's semi circle that rolls like a uh, you know, when you flick a marble, it goes backwards and it's going forward. Yeah, yeah. It's, 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 almost, it's almost a bubble coming around here, the marble's coming in going forward. And it's it relaxed out. This is it's only got to go it's, it's that little bit of movement, just to get out of the face and just sit it up nice and soft here. Go back to stay there. Okay, this time let your elbow sink and let your almost like your forearms pulling your elbow. Because <coughs> here's a mistake a lot of people do in that one. So, here and they do this. See, it went away. Mm, yep. So, I'm going to put my hand, my elbow right around behind my back. Release do that so you don't have to when they say oh well yeah but the alignment's not there you can't do it <laughs> who cares yeah. go in the corner yeah right you know what i mean so it doesn't really matter you because you think here the mission here is to is to do that he he now if you're released here nice and relaxed he'll find its own play mm. if it's back here like that and you think okay and no no you don't even do that mm. You, you just imagine that your elbow wants to push you forward. You don't have to move before you see it straight. <laughs> Gone already. Just goes, yeah. That's the crazy part about it. Yeah? And so when you get back to here, we talk about this movement here. Oh, yep, yep. Yeah, do you ever think of this, this here as a spiral? As here, not not here, and then a lot of people get that habit. And then because it's half flat, then that's now heading over there. We want this all to feel like it's all going forward. Now, the only reason I say use the back knuckle because he's got a more direct line and through me. You're thinking me. about this here? Yeah, 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 yeah. So where I put my thumb here is, is where it starts to turn from. Relax. Yeah. Right there. Straight away. Mm. Yeah, this time when you get down, I want you to hold it out here, maintain that forward presence. Always be there, see? No, always be there. Always be something like that. Yeah. You might be there. Yeah. You might be there, you say, keep it here, you're going to do something you haven't done before. I want you to point over there, but I want you to point by an arc. Try that. <coughs> Or you might decide, I'll go the other way. No, just, just turn and take it around, yeah. otherwise I'm going to get some movement. Because mm. that on the side takes you... Because your, your, your mass is always forward. 
Yeah. Your prayers always be you always be out there. 